Kosanishin Sanbonani and welcome back to Football Trends with me, OQP. Well guys, on today's video we have a lot to discuss from Kian Doli, Ataswane, uh, Mike Makab and also Unazradin Nabi. But of course, before we dive into all of the details and gonna join us in that favor, please guys uh, do make sure to like the video and also among you are new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the bell notification so that next time when I post something new, you get notified. Now, first things first, let's start with Kian Doli. It looks like Uki and Dolly is very, very close to signing a new deal with the Super Sport United. As reported by Mazola J. Mulefe from SABC Sport, it looks like Uki and Dolly and also e Super Sport United have agreed uh, in terms. It's just a matter of finding the finer details. And this is definitely good news for Enage Uki and Dolly because after just the week, he did not wait uh, much, much long to get a new club. So definitely, this is good news for Enage Uki and Dolly, even though, even though, I know he was hoping Uti Keza Chiefs would retain him and his services. And it is believed that Uti is going to be a good fit with Ugevin Hunt, Lapana, a Super Sport United. So I don't know what's going to happen in terms of uh, money because we know Uti. Kian Dolly was the most uh, high paid player in the history of PSL. So I wish Uti maybe he is going to get a salary cut, Plaumbe, Angazi, because you know, uh, Keza Chiefs was paying him a lot of money and now maybe he's going to have the same situation with Ukama Pilat where he got um, a contract for less money so that he can be able to continue doing what he loves uh, playing football but we will see as time goes on with him, what's the deal what is uh, he signing for and how long are they planning to keep him and what do they expect from him next up let's talk about Oatazwane it looks like Oatazwane uh, even though Kaiser Chiefs are restructuring and barely Zaban two players even and uh, Mamane Managers is in this Fanana Lezo. Atazwane looks like he will remain with the club. And to be honest, Mulefin Saiku parted ways with the KZ Chiefs. And also, Kevin Johnson parted ways with the KZ Chiefs just after joining. And it was very, very, um, you know, surprising because by Libam Tata, they assessed him for a day and they said he's going back to the head of development. But Sasawa Corner, they just announced, they woke up and announced, cool, just Ganja and uh, we're no longer going to retain uh, the services of Kevin. Johnson, Tatama Peck, welcome back to Zambele. So it was that. It was just that. It was surprising to a lot of people, but I know you guys uh, wanted him gone from Ikeza Chiefs, and obviously he's gone. But it looks like Adazwani uh, still remains. It still remains in the club. Uh, he's probably going to take over as the head of youth uh, development. Now, guys, I do have a question in terms of Adazwani. Do you guys think and uh, John he was doing his, I think, pro. Uh, UEFA Pro license something something A or B I'm not sure um, I just want to know from you guys do you think a case Chiefs has a plan for this guy because Baham is the one coming to but he and he's still there so is it something he knows or probably they have a plan for him which maybe in the future uh, he's going to to be the head coach again as but i just want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below because currently i'm a contract that was signed by Onasradin nabi and his technical team is two years with one year option to extend so definitely they are not going to be there for his city and we know uh, nabi is someone who likes to go and build and move on uh, he doesn't like to stay that long uh, we've seen him Gusiba, he did not stay long uh, young africans not same but young Africans it did not stay long and also uh, as far I know I understand he contract Turkey was terminated by Keza Chiefs and they offered him a, a termination contract with I think it's about what 1.1 million rents if I'm not mistaken I've reported about this before so what do you think what do you think is going to happen with others on number two please uh, do let me know down in the comment section below which do you think Keza Chiefs uh, has a plan for him because already they have released some of the people that they don't want we still uh, haven't heard anything about to Dylan Shepard no more like which he, uh, they released now nah, abaga announced but i'm hoping which very soon they are going to announce which uh, those guys are gone and next up we have mike makab uh mike makab to has just confirmed which uh, him and his chiefs are in talks regarding several players now he did not mention the names but we do know what he, he represent players like utepang remi uh, who's a winger at amazon fc uh he played i think he started playing at 
2021 if i'm not mistaken and also he scored his first goal against the kaiser chiefs uh, in december and he spent his 2022 to 2023 season as a loan uh, with jtr stars and ever since abu yirumfana lapanog mazul fc he's been a key player and recently i think he, he made his debut with national uh, national team and his quality this guy we also know what mike mccup does represent uh, players like Obu divine longer uh, who's a defender a left back i can say and i won't say much about him we do know what he he's a good left back and his quality and also uh, there's this player known as elias mukwana is also represented by uh, mike mccup we know we know definitely about elias mukwana there have been even rumors and talks with he uh, onabi wants elias mukwana but we'll see the same goes on because already negotiations are there so i think those are the three players maybe they are negotiating about but as time goes on we will see with him what's happening because definitely these days uh Keiser chiefs a very secretive buffet too i've been saying this and i will always say it go to these days hey it's a spawning i'm a surprise in jason Dozenzega. we don't know much but so far those are the things we do know um those players that i've mentioned before please please do let me know Uti. who do you think uh, is going to get signed uh between those players i don't know about others because there's a lot of players that Mike Macab does represent, but so far, I think those are the few players uh, they might be negotiating for. And please, please, guys, do not mistake in this for players that are being targeted by Kaiser Chiefs. They are not linked in any way. I'm just uh, showing you guys some of the players that are represented by Mike Macab. And then, last but not least, Buffet 2, we're going to talk about the salary that Unasredi Nabi will be earning at Kaiser Chiefs. So, uh, reported by Austin De Chawolo, he says uh, Unabi will be earning around 40,000 USD, which is around 740,000 rent uh, when converted to AMA rent, meaning he's going to be the most high paid coach in the PSL. Definitely, a coach of Holuk Vilayana is definitely going to be the highest paid coach in the PSL. So, I suspect Mbogeli, I suspect Lanuti, if he's getting paid this much, definitely maybe it might disrupt budget when it comes to signing players. I don't know, because if he's earning this much, then definitely even his uh, technical members, technical staff are also getting paid very well. But, Angfun Kukusho is into Engazi Uti, is it true or not? I'm not saying Uti, definitely Kaiser Chiefs, uh, they will struggle in terms of money. I don't know, it's Komasabo. But they do know which is Komasa was telling uh, What I do suspect, Oguti, uh, they might not sign uh, expensive players. Probably they might not sign expensive players. Even now, we've seen Oguti, they've opted to go for Ubonga Nisem. And to be honest, guys, a lot of people are not happy uh, in terms of Ubonga Nisem being signed as a left back for a replacement Gatlanti. But nothing has been confirmed yet. We will hear as time goes on, Oguti. What's going to happen? What's going to happen so i do suspect to Uti, definitely uh, when it comes to money they've spent more with technical stuff and they're going to spend less uh, in buying players but we will see we'll see Uti, what is going to happen uh, i think this is it Mogeli. thank you so much for watching until the end of the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel